It has currently been 21 days, 4 hours, 52 minutes, and about 30 seconds since the Magi Academy series finale aired, and Magi Academy was officially a series of my past. Since that moment, I have been going through what some may call withdrawal syndrome, specifically withdrawal of having a series on my channel. I've always had a series on my channel, or at least a series brewing in the processes of being on my channel. Therefore, I need something to help me, and I need something quick. So what do you do when you're suffering from series withdrawal syndrome? You make a new series, which is what we're doing today. Hey guys, it's Joji Dolls back at again with another video, and here we are today making a completely new series. Well, I use the term completely new in a rough-ish sort of term because we are taking the characters from my holiday movie and we are making those characters into their very own series. The name of the series will be revealed on a later date, and the series will probably be coming out somewhere in fall, maybe late summer, depending on how quickly I can do this. But anyways, here we are with behind the scenes of my new series. Let's get right into the video. So we have the very first scene of the very first episode of the very first season set up right here. There's a lot of firsts going on, and I'm kind of like excited to start filming, so like, this is gonna be fun. We got two of our main characters right over there, you may recognize them from my holiday movie. There's Morgan, the detective, and there's her best friend, Darby. In this corner of the room, we have Mo and Morgan's room. They have a Black Lives Matter sign right there because, you know, they care about human rights. As you may remember from my holiday movie, Mo is a gamer guy. He has a YouTube channel all about gaming, and so I made him a pair of proper gaming headphones, even equipped with a microphone so you can talk to his gamer guys. And his computer is right here. His computer is actually a really janky computer that I made. I completely forgot that there's an Aspen Heights thing playing. Oh my god, I, I forgot that. But anyways, I made this computer actually like really early in my YouTube channel career back when I like crafted everything. And it closes and it opens and I'm actually like super proud of it, but I feel like I need a new computer. I don't know, like let me know. Do I need a new computer? It's kind of weird to have a blue computer with pink keys, if you ask me. But if you have a blue computer with pink keys, that's actually pretty cool. Like where'd you get that? Can I get one? We're also gonna take a moment to recognize the absolutely one wonderful books that are on this shelf. We have The Book Thief, solid book. Fault in Our Stars, another solid book. And then, you know, the entire Harry Potter series, which is kind of controversial at the moment of filming. So I'd just like to make the public service announcement that the new author of the Harry Potter book series is Gildroy Lockhart. Earlier today, I printed out some signs for some places that they're gonna go. I also printed out this poster, and then down here, it's right out of screen, but it's actually the title of the series, and I don't want to spoil that for you guys. Right up here is where I cut out two police officer badges for the two police officers who are right over here looking absolutely like like a police officer does I don't know I think their costumes are really cute though the little badges are absolutely adorable and I love them very much Luciana right here is actually gonna play the victim in our mystery she's gonna be the person who dies like Phoebe was in the last movie I should probably also point out that this series once it actually comes out is gonna make a lot more sense if you go watch my holiday movie so just just go watch that please I'll link it somewhere anywhere really just watch it. Also, yes, that surfboard does say gay AF. We're just gonna appreciate that for just a bit. Yes, I did get this surfboard from Joss's release, and yes, I made it say gay AF. And no, I will not be taking criticism right now. What do I mean by right now? I never take criticism. <laughs> So like I said before, I have the first scene set up, but I'm just, you know, procrastinating filming that because I don't know why, I just am. I'm just kind of jittery, like, you know, the first scene of the first season of the first series of, it's not the first series. You get what I'm saying, okay? I don't know, I'm just a little nervous, you know? Just a little nervous, just a little bit. I may or may not be like stalling right now, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, okay? You know what, I'm gonna start filming tomorrow. So I face my fears and I film the scene, good for me, and it's still the same day. Now I gotta go edit a photo and, you know, lie on the couch and do nothing, because we're in quarantine and I literally do nothing all day long. All right, I just finished filming outside. Here's my doll bag with all my dolls in it. As I was filming outside, I got eaten alive by bugs. My dolls fell in the dirt. But all in all, that was a pretty successful filming. All my dolls lying on the floor like this really sums up perfectly the experience that I'm facing right now. I am out of breath. I am tired. It's summer outside now, so it's really hot when I film. And once again, I was eaten alive by bugs. So I have so many new bug bites, and they all itch. 
Overall though, I got some really good clips and it was really fun to film. I do have to film again later tonight when it's like darker out so that I can get, you know, the right shots because it's supposed to be like so dark they can't identify the murderer. Whoa, so angsty. But uh, I guess I just gotta wait until that, that happens. So, um, you know, people ask me why I don't like filming outside. Here's a reason. There was a spider on Zoe's head right there and I flicked it off and now I don't know where it is and now I'm afraid it's on another doll and I'm gonna bring it back inside and it's gonna infest my household and I don't like that not one bit anyways as you can see by the sunset glow along that tree it's almost night and when night comes we get to film just so long as no people go walking along that street and stare at me because I would not like that and would you look at that another bug on my stuff another bug on my stuff that's a spider it's a baby spider anyways over here we have a car and the car see it doesn't like to stay in one place it always rolls back so we are just gonna put the backpack right there no that's too obvious we're gonna put it behind a front wheel we're gonna put this backpack right here so that it doesn't roll away and there is my life hack of the day thank you for watching what's in that bag you may ask well you don't get to know that not until the second to last episode in the season it's a mystery once it actually does get dark though we have these two lights to like you know keep it lit my neighbors are arguing and it's ruining my shots I don't know what they were talking about, but they were clearly intoxicated. Don't drink, kids. Now my other neighbors are being loud. Wow. And now I'm done filming outside. Thank God, I don't like being surrounded by bugs. And my production designing self is so stupid and I kinda wanna refilm the whole thing because the calendar was sent to June when this takes place in April. <sighs> Why am I such a perfectionist? Speaking of production design, it's about time I turn that shelf into a coffee shop. Let's see how this works. I'm pretty proud of this. All right, I think I've boxed myself in. It is so hard to walk in here. I need to clean this up a bit. We're back at it again with filming outside and people walking by and looking at me weirdly. It's so fun. People just walked by and looked at me weirdly. There's a motorcycle that just went by and they're being really loud. I just got two episodes done. Heck yeah, life is good. I just remembered my microphone wasn't plugged in, so I had to reshoot a small scene. Minor setbacks, temporary setbacks. It's fine, we're good. So, you wanna know the title of my series? I bet you do. I told myself I would wait until I dropped the trailer, but uh, I need to show you the behind the scenes of this intro, so you're gonna get to know the title. Look at this! There's the title, Morgan Athalia, Teenage Detective. But look at this! This is supposed to be like one of those yarn chart, yarn board things, you know, that they have in crime movies, I guess. So it's one of those, and it's a green screen photo, and then the actor's name underneath it, and they're all leading to Morgan Morgan Athalia, Teenage Detective, yay. It's gonna be super hard to edit, but you know what? It's worth it. Anyways, guys, on this note, it's time to end the video. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't done that, do that right now. Be sure to remember that I at least try to post every single Saturday. Don't forget the little bell. Keep on the lookout for this series, and goodbye.